Hey guys, what's going on? Today we are gonna talk about the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation. Yes, I know I'm like way off the bandwagon with this one. I think this came out a couple years ago. I've just never had a chance to try it. And I just so happened to be watching a YouTube video. Um, I think it was Kim Tai and she was using it and I was like, holy crap, her skin looks so good, I need that. And then I checked my email like 10 minutes later and Ulta was doing this, I think it was like 50% off type of thing on the Born This Way Foundation. So I don't know why they don't put the price on their receipts. It's kind of silly, but it was, I'm pretty sure it was 50% off. So I thought, okay, this is like a makeup sign from the makeup gods. You need to purchase it. So I did. So I'm really hoping this color works for me. It's golden beige. It's always hard to color match yourself online. So I do have my wash off self tan on. So that's gonna help me. I did wanna pick this up in like a darker than my normal fair skin color because I'm typically some kind of self tanned. And I'm hoping this works for my friend whose makeup I'm doing for her wedding because this looks so pretty. So, and hopefully there's no SPF in it. So quickly, if you guys don't know about this foundation, which you probably all do because this has been out for a long time and I just typically like stick with what I know, but I've been really trying to branch out with my foundations lately. So, hence the Born This Way. So let's see, it says it's infused with coconut water to aid in delicately replenishing skin's moisture levels, alpine rose to brighten and boost skin radiance, hyaluronic acid for a smoother, more youthful appearance. This oil-free foundation masterfully diffuses the line between makeup and skin, coverage so undetectable and skin so naturally radiant that they'll think you were born this way. Tip for I woke up like this, perfection. Apply from center of face outward and blend. Build to full coverage by layering as needed. 100% said this foundation blurred their imperfections. 100%, that's a big number. 98% said this foundation made their skin look absolutely perfect. And 97% said this foundation provided natural coverage. All right, so we'll see. I'm not gonna go through any of the ingredients or anything like that. Um, you guys can go through that if you're interested. But yeah, I'm excited to give this a try, but first I need to drink some of this coffee. It has a hole in it. Like a donut. Nothing tastes better than coffee in the morning. Oh, I always tell people like, no, I'm not addicted to coffee, but like when I wake up, I absolutely need coffee. So for my primer today, I use the Maybelline Master Prime. Today I just use the Blur and Smooth because I'm basically out of the red one. And because I've been really taking care of my skin and seeing Patty, my favorite esthetician in the world, we've been kind of helping the redness in my skin and I've seen a dramatic difference. So I don't even really need this as much, but I really love this last few months. So today I just use the Maybelline Blur and Smooth, the white one. I really like these because I feel like they hydrate my skin. I don't feel like they blur my skin. Definitely not something like a Makeup Forever. This is the like mattifying skin equalizer, their primer. I don't think they work on that level, but they're also not like pore reducing. And I feel like the whole like blur comes with like the pore reducing silicone territory. That's just my opinion on it. So no, I don't think that blurs my skin as far as the Maybelline, but it really leaves it feeling like hydrated and supple. And I really enjoy that feeling. I don't think Primers in general, this is my train of thought on it, really make your skin last a long time. I think it's more in the setting sprays and the, like if you're really trying to have your foundation last all day, like layering and uh, using cream products and using powder products. But anyway, I'm starting to go on a tangent. So let's just get the foundation on the face. So hopefully this matches, I mean it, Looking at it, hopefully the camera can pick it up. It actually looks like this is the same color, but this is also a frosted bottle, so. Either way, we'll make it work here. So I don't know like what coverage is gonna be. So I'm just gonna kind of dot it all over. It smells nice. Definitely has like a scent. But I like it. Cats decided to use a litter box, sorry guys. All right, so now I'm just gonna kind of take my beauty blender and start to blend it up. This color is perfect. Oh my God, hooray, that makes me so happy. Very pretty so far. 
very pretty. Look at <laughs> point why you want to always, and sorry for my messy bun. It's eight o'clock in the morning and I literally just threw my hair up. So, but this is why you need to take your foundation over your ear because I have like white ear. <laughs> So I think I used about two and a half pumps when I did this, which is, oh my God, this looks so pretty already. I can't wait till this is all done. And I have actually not watched reviews on this, so I have no idea what people think about it. I mean, I think Kim Tai loves it from that video that I watched because she was wearing it to like, a meetup or something like that. I'm not quite sure what the, f I mean, I guess it has like a natural finish, so I like that. I have not been into the whole like really, really matte skin look lately at all. I don't know if that's gonna change when winter comes around, but I've just really been into like healthy, healthy, healthy looking skin. Oh, this looks so good, you guys. I love how this looks. I love it. Let me grab like a small mirror. Yes, it just looks so healthy. And the match is just so perfect. I hope it reads that way on the screen. So let's try to like build a little bit. I'm just gonna take a little on my sponge and kind of put it on my cheeks where I need a little extra coverage. And maybe there, because I put too much. So it builds very, very nicely. I don't look cakey whatsoever. It's, it's got like a sh nice, healthy sheen to it. Um, it's not like glowy radiant, which it doesn't claim to be, but it has a very, very nice, like healthy skin glow to it. The color is absolutely perfect. Blended out super nice. Did not have to use a lot of product at all. Man, I wish I did pick this up in more of like a fair color so I could wear it on my more like fair skin days, but oh. You guys, I love this right now. Why, why, why did I not know about, or try this? I knew about it, I just was never interested. Why did I not try it before? So it's still a little wet, little tacky, not bad, not bad. Definitely where I just like layered up, like on uh, the cheeks and the chin area, but like on the forehead, it's, it's drying down for sure. So let me just get a little closer so you guys can like see what everything looks like here. See how it just like, is reflecting on like the high points of my cheek. Turn to the side, pardon my like ridiculously messy hair. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply everything I would normally apply over it. So concealer, blush, bronzer, not gonna do anything crazy with the eyes today. I'm just gonna probably throw on some lashes. I kinda wanna do a bright lip. So I'll meet you back here when I have everything on my face. Right now it is 10, that clearly doesn't say 10, it says 8.06. So it's 8.06 in the morning. I'll finish everything up and then I'll meet you back here and give you my thoughts on how everything applied over. This earring will not stop falling off. Ugh. I think my lashes are on, hopefully, whatever. <laughs> All right, you guys, the makeup is on. I used the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink and Heroin on my lips. I'm not sure how I feel about this yet. It's very sticky and it's kind of patchy because as it's drying down, if you try to talk, it kind of transfers from the top lip to the bottom lip, the bottom lip to the top lip, and then like peels off that color. So I'm not quite sure how I feel about this. I really like the color, it's gorgeous. I really like the applicator because it doesn't carry too much product on like the tip, so you can really line your lips with it, but it carries a lot of product, not a lot, but a fair amount of product in the center in that little like dip there, but I don't know, it's kind of a pain to work with, but I do like the color, so. But anyway, here's what everything looks like. Everything I applied over what went on flawless. I used the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I used a MAC bronzer. I used a Tarte blush. Everything went on perfectly normal, and I think this looks stunning. It still has that kind of radiance to it. I didn't want to set my face like heavily with anything. I took a little bit of my MAC pressed powder and literally just like went like this all around my face like very lightly just so I could have like a smooth surface to put the bronzer and the blush and everything over so this is what everything looks like I think it looks stunning it's 846 can you see that it's 846 right now um, wow that took a long time I have a million conference calls today I think I have eight conference calls 
I have to run some errands. So we're gonna do some check-ins. It might be right here, it might be outside, it might be in natural light, somewhere else in my apartment, we'll see. I have two thumbs up right now. I hope everything help, holds up well. I did set everything with the Urban Decay all-nighter because I always do that and I wanna give this a fair chance. So I will go ahead and check in. Let's see, it's nine. Probably around 12 or one o'clock. We'll see how we're holding up. I'm probably gonna be doing a lot of this on my conference calls and this and all that good stuff. And obviously I'm gonna have a phone up against my face. So this is gonna be a good test, but yeah, loving it for now. I'll go ahead and just get a little closer so you guys can see everything. It like looks flawless to me. Oh, it's so stunning. Don't mind the patchy lips. <laughs> And the messy hair. Yeah. What is this bun right now? I swear my buns have like a mind of their own. All right, you guys, it is now 1.41 in the afternoon, so the foundation has been on for about five hours now. I'm on the struggle bus with these lashes, but this is about the foundation. So here is what everything looks like. I think it looks stunning still. I've been outside in 80 degree weather walking around. I had sunglasses on my face for like an hour. I have been on five conference calls so far, so I've had phones up to my faces. Three more to go. I have cooked food and it was like steamy food and that was in my face. So this has gone through the ringer and I think it still looks absolutely stunning. If I had to get nitpicky, oh by the way, if you couldn't tell, I changed my lipstick. This was a struggle to get off my lips. I literally had to go in with a makeup wipe to get this off and it came off like patchy. It was very strange. It didn't really stain my lips. I didn't like wipe so hard on the outer corner so you can kind of see a little bit of it uh, because I didn't want to wipe off the foundation but it hurt. I think this is, could be a good product. I might have to buy it in like a lighter color because maybe the pigment in this just didn't work for me or maybe I got a bad one, I don't know. But that, I wasn't a big fan of that while I was on these conference calls the entire time I was annoyed. It was dry, it still looked patchy. I was outside because I wanted to give it the full test. I literally just took it off before I got on camera and I felt like people were probably looking at me because I had patchy lips and the more I talked, the more I felt like it kind of transferred. Once it dried down, it didn't really go anywhere, I'll say that. Um, it just was uncomfortable, not for me with that one. So anyway, back to the foundation, everything looks great. I feel like over time, it's gotten a little more shiny. I don't wanna say shiny, I feel like my skin so like natural sheen is showing through a little bit and I do not have oily skin, I am very normal. I do not have dry skin. The only place I ever get a little dry is on my nose since I had the V-Beam laser, but since I've been seeing my esthetician, Patty, my nose hasn't been dry at all, thank goodness. Um, but yeah, I think that everything looks great. So I'm wondering if you had oily skin, if you'd need to touch up at this point since I have normal skin and I feel like it's, it looks a little glowy. Um, that's the word I'll use, glowy, but I think it looks stunning. I like it, how it looks right now. I almost like it a little more than when I applied it because of the like healthy glow that's kind of showing through. Can you see that? I think it looks great. Nothing's changed, nothing's slipped, nothing's really coming off. If I had to get really nitpicky, I would say in the slightest way, it's creasing in my nose folds, but they're folds, so it's bound to crease there. I don't have a foundation that doesn't crease there. Um, the big wrinkle line that always kind of creases right after I put on foundation is not creasing too bad. It's absolutely normal for what my skin typically does with that guy. Um, yeah, nothing's coming off. It still feels so light. I don't even know if I mentioned that in the beginning. This feels so light. It feels like I have nothing on my skin and I love that. Typically when I'm just at home running errands, I do not want anything on my face if I'm not like filming a video or going anywhere. I feel like I have nothing on my face, which is super nice. So really happy so far. I'll check in again probably around six or seven o'clock, somewhere around there. And that's like a really long day of wearing foundation. Typically I only wear foundation for like five, six hours if even. So really putting this to the test today, love it. So happy. This is definitely, definitely on the top of the list for my friend's makeup, for her wedding. And yeah, I'll just get a little closer so you guys can see absolutely everything right now. Oh, 
I'm so happy for this foundation. Still have the crazy bun going on and we have a little co-star, Stanley. And someone's vacuuming upstairs, sorry about that. All right, you just sit right here on Mama's lap. It is now, let's see here. Ah, I always do this. I'm such a bad like phone checker, I, trying to show you guys the time. It is 5.59 right now, so the foundation's been on for nine hours. It's been on for nine hours, which is a very long time. I typically never wear foundation that long, and this is what we're looking like at this point. I would definitely do a touch up with powder because I'm starting to look a little shiny glowy, dewy, oily. At this point, I would definitely give myself just a little powder. So I do have a MAC pressed powder um, right now. When I do these like foundation check-ins, I don't really like to touch up my face because I want you guys to actually see what everything looks like. Um, so you can see that. I mean, it, it, it actually, I kind of like it when I'm like looking in the mirror there, but in real life, it's it's a little too much. So see how I'm just gonna take down the, I'll take down like the glow on this side of my face and hopefully you guys can see on camera, the shine here is just gone. By just touching my face with the little um, applicator that comes in like a MAC or whatever powder you're working with. This is just the one I grabbed. So I'll just go ahead and finish that up and just take the shine down where I want the shine to come down. So yeah, this is what everything looks like. It still looks stunning, lasted all day. I am really, really happy with this. Like I said earlier, I wish I had picked up a more fair color so I could also wear it on my more fair days. But like I said, I also typically have uh, self tan on. So loving this, this definitely gets two very big thumbs up. All the rest of the stuff on my face also stayed on really well. If you guys can see, my blush is still there, my bronzer is still there. A little bit of my highlight up here and then right here is still there. So yeah, I also have a different lip color. Apparently this is the video of changing lip colors. I have on this Revlon Matte Smoked Peach Color. It's super pretty. I was looking for like a darker peachy color and I found this and I really, really like it. So like I said earlier, I have normal skin. So bear in mind if you have like super oily skin, Think about if this is gonna work for you because you could see how I got a little bit glowy towards the end there. Um, it was very light. If you have sensitive skin, I don't think this would bug you. I did say there's a little bit of a like a nice like fresh scent to it, I guess. It's not like super, super strong, but there is a little bit of a scent to it, so keep that in mind. Um, if you have redness, I think this would cover you up. If you have any kind of like acne, it might not cover as well as like a really, really, really full coverage foundation. This was what I would say pretty full coverage, maybe like medium high coverage, but if you really, really needed some concealing, you might have to go over this with a concealer. If you're like acne prone and, and oily, you might want to use something more like the Marc Jacobs Remarkable. So just bear in mind how this reacted on my normal skin if you're thinking of buying it. I wish this was still on sale for all of you to try because at 50% off, I would buy backups of this at this point. I really like it. It didn't oxidize at all either, which is super, super nice. It's still looks absolutely perfect and yeah very happy with this you guys so I think you've got the answer I really like this foundation and I am definitely gonna be wearing it more hopefully Megan will like it so we can put it on her for her wedding trial and yeah let me know what you guys think of this foundation. Do you have it? Do you have oily skin? Does it work for you? Do you have dry skin? I think this would work for dry skin because it does give you that kind of luminosity. It actually might work really, really well for dry skin. So if you guys have this foundation, let me know below what kind of skin you have and if you like this foundation. So yeah, thanks so much for being here. As always, I appreciate it. If you're interested in seeing any more videos from me, I post about two a week. Please subscribe. Otherwise, I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks so much. Bye-bye. We've got another little co-star here. You look so high right now, but he's not. No catnip, huh?